In problem number 17 of section 3.2, we're asked to find the area bounded between the two functions, uh, x equals 4 over 1 plus y squared and x equals 2. Uh, notice in this case that we're given x, or we're given x as a function of y. Um, so it probably, this kind of indicates that it might be easier to integrate with respect to y actually than with respect to x. So it always makes things, or usually makes things a little bit clearer if we draw a picture. So we have value x equals 2, so we have the line x equals 2, and uh, now we want the area bounded between the functions uh, x equals 2 and x equals 4 over 1 plus y squared. And if it's a little difficult to visualize this right away, well, let's uh, try to think what is the uh, largest value that this can take. Well, the largest value that um, 4 over the quantity 1 plus y squared can have is, well, when the denominator is as small as possible. So as small as the denominator can be is if y is equal to 0, in which case x is greater than 4, or x is equal to 4. And we see that um, as y gets um, larger or smaller, so if y, the absolute, as the absolute value of y increases, um, the value of x decreases. So we know it's going to kind of head you know, towards the y-axis in both directions. What we'd like to know is when does it actually um, intersect the line x equals 2? Well, so we're asking when, what are the y values such that 4 over 1 plus y squared equals uh, 2? Well, this means that 4 is equal to 2 times 1 plus y squared, or just 2 is equal to 1 plus y squared, which means that if we subtract 1 from each side, that y is, we take the square root, that y is equal to plus or minus 1. Um, so if we have plus 1 and minus 1, we know that um, that the graphs will, graphs of the two functions will intersect at these points. So we know that if we graph the functions, it'll look roughly like this, and the area that we're interested in is the area that's bounded by the two functions. So again, this is definitely going to be easier to integrate over, or integrate with respect to y rather than x, because we want to go from y equals negative 1 to 1, uh, the difference between the two uh, x values. So the area is going to be equal to the integral from y equals minus 1 to y equals 1 of 4 over 1 plus y squared minus uh, x equals 2, so minus 2. Uh, now we're integrating with respect to y, so we have dy. So now the, we can pull out, in the first uh, term we can pull out a 4, and the integral of 1 over 1 plus y squared with respect to y is just uh, inverse tangent or arctangent of, um, of y. And in the second term, we have minus 2y. And of course, we want to evaluate this from minus 1 to 1. So we have 4 times the inverse tangent of 1 minus 2 minus the quantity 4 times the inverse tangent of minus 1 minus 2 times negative 1 or plus 2. All right, now the inverse tangent of 1 is just pi over 4. So we have 4 times 
pi over 4 uh, minus 2 and uh, minus 4 times the inverse tangent of minus 1 is now minus pi over 4. And we'll distribute the minus sign and it becomes minus 2. Uh, so here the 4's cancel out. Also uh, the negative signs in the second term cancel. And we're left with pi minus 2 plus pi minus 2. So just 2 pi uh, minus 4.